Hello and welcome to the main menu. I promise you're perfectly safe in here. Or are you? Dun, dun, dun! No, no, only joking. You're safe. For now. Now, you're probably wondering where exactly you are, and who exactly we are. Unfortunately, that's not something we can tell you at this point. The purpose of this short educational video is to inform you and your fellow inductees what you should expect from your new life here at the Foundation. First of all, you will be given a unique personal identification number tattooed directly onto your chest. We wouldn't want you to lose it, would we? <laughs> this will become your new name. You and every one of your colleagues will be referred to henceforward as Class D. The D stands for delightful. <laughs> now that you're equipped with your new identity, what's next? Well, this is where the fun begins. Let's talk fashion. Say goodbye to your boring old clothes. Here, you'll be fitted with our super comfortable, standard-issue electric orange overalls to keep you warm and cozy while performing your assigned responsibilities, all the while keeping you looking fresh and professional. Speaking of responsibilities, let's talk about yours. Your purpose here is to accommodate your supervisor's demands. Those are the friendly guys with the guns, such as cleaning up nasty messes, interacting with interesting characters, don't go off script, <laughs> making sure you're in tip-top shape, the infirmary is always open, and fulfilling interdepartmental deliveries, and much, much more. You couldn't ask for a more exciting working environment. Just remember these four simple points, and your time here will be a walk in the park. Number one, a locked door is a happy door. Number two, questions are bad. Number three, Supervisor satisfaction is key. And finally, number four. No pain, no gain. But it doesn't end here. If you successfully complete one month of rigorous Class D work, wait for it, you get to go home. No strings attached. You're free. I'd say feel free to come back and visit any time, but we can't tell you where we are. <laughs> so... What are you waiting for? Get out there and make us proud like your life depends on it. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. And most importantly, good luck.
Cell 7 manual override engaged. Hey, hello! Is anyone alive out there? I hear someone. I hope. You. Please don't leave me. I've done some bad stuff, but I don't deserve to die like this. Please come back and save me if you can. You have to let me out. Please. <laughs> Alert. Site power training. Entering emergency power mode. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a little D-Class lost its way. I'm Dr. Harmon, and I need you to do a few things for me. You do that, and we both may get out of here alive. Capiche? Now let's get started, shall we? Find the extra visitor access card in the guard room. Now that you can get in a few more places, I saw a level one key card in the sleeping quarters. Access denied. Access denied. Warning. TP designation. TPS message treatment.
You found one. Maybe you ain't so dumb after all. There's a level two key car in the warehouse. It's all on the security camera. You know, I worked in that warehouse for six years before they even considered giving me a job in the lab. Can you believe that? A soldier? Doctor of my stature. I've always deserved better than this dump. I guess you're lucky it's not him talking to you over this PA.
Access denied. Always wondered what kind of fucked up germs they were cooking up in that Sector 32 biohazard wing. Never did let me in. Something about a unstable mental profile. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Access denied. Access denied. <laughs> Doors and access. 
safe location until site function has been restored. Please exercise extreme caution until containment has been confirmed by an MTF unit or your site administrator. Airman, cell 7 man will override the stage. Hey, hello! Why, hello, Baby Striker. The name's Dr. Harmon. I need you to do a few things for me. No questions asked, of course. You do that, and we both might get out of here alive. Without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Now, you go and find yourself a spare visitor access card in that guard room. Good. Now try the staff bathroom down the hall. Someone always forgets their access card in there. Warning. Complete designation PES has been treated. Second personal log for Dr. Stuart Pendium, dated November 3rd, 2019. I feel I've taken rather well to this new site. Don't get me wrong, it's still the mandated level of labyrinthine you'd come to expect from an SCP installation, but I think I have at least zone A relatively sussed. My only real complaint thus far would be the lodgings. It seems the tram going up to the dormitories has been out of commission for some time, so I end up here in these less than desirable temporary sleeping quarters. I would think someone of my caliber would at least qualify for a private room and not be forced to slum it in a makeshift bunkhouse. Yeah. 
Uh, I've already filed a complaint with Dr. Miller. Access denied. UV chamber activated. Please stand by for decontamination sequence and subsequent scan. Access denied. Access denied. You know what? That bastard never did like me anyway. Maybe he did deserve to die.
Access denied. You found one. Maybe you ain't so dumb after all. There's a level two key car in the warehouse. It's all on the security camera. You know, I worked in that warehouse for six years before they even considered giving me a job in the lab. Can you believe that? A soldier? Doctor of my stature. I've always deserved better than this dump.
Access denied. Access denied. Denied. <laughs> <laughs> 